Setting up the LXI cubed and getting started. Ensure all accessories, i.e. probes, foot switch, keyboard, are properly connected to the iCubed and that the main power switch on the back of the iCubed console is on the 1 position. Turn the system on by pressing the power button on the front panel of the iCubed console. Connect to the iCubed using the administrator user account using the default password. Click on the green arrow. You have now entered the iCube software interface. As a first step, regional preferences and language can be entered. To change the language for the iCube software, simultaneously press the Ctrl, Alt, Shift and X keys to close the iCube application. In the Windows Start panel, select Control Panel and then Regional and Language Options. In the Regional Options tab, nominate the standards and formats you wish to apply as well as your location. Then select the language that you wish to be featured in the iCubed menus and dialogues from the Languages tab. Click Apply to validate the new settings. Double-click the LX icon on the desktop. The software will be in the newly selected language if a change has been made. Now go to the Utility section to ensure the iCube settings will optimally answer all user requirements. In the General sub-tab, the Automatically Generate Patients ID field is activated by default. However, you may deselect this option if the user's preference is to manually enter an ID for patients. This will most certainly be the case if the centre or clinic is already attributing specific IDs to patients. Still in the General sub-tab, we recommend deselecting the Show Patient Sessions in Search option, as this will help simplify the patient deletion process. Move to the User Information sub-tab in order to enter the Physician and Examiner related information. The Physician will be linked to the IOL files, whilst the Examiner will be the doctor or the technician performing the actual examination. For the Physician section, we recommend entering one single name, ideally the name of the clinic or of the hospital, to which all IOL files will be linked. This will avoid the need to re-enter the IOL data several times, to proceed, click New and enter the name of the clinic or hospital. Make sure you tick the Set as Default Physician box and then deselect the formulae that are unlikely to be used in the IOL reports, if any. You will then need to enter the lens details for all the IOLs that the clinic or hospital use. To proceed, first ensure that the name that you have just entered in the Physicians table is highlighted in blue and then click the New button on top of the Lenses table, located on the right-hand side of the screen. You then have the option to either select some pre-entered lens models or to manually enter new lenses. For the lens details which are to be entered manually, if the user has only provided you with the name of the manufacturer, the lens model and the A constant, you will have the possibility to auto-calculate the complementary constants by ticking the Auto-Calculate Complementary Constants box. The lenses that are set as active lenses will be automatically included in the IOL report. Please note that there is no limit to the number of lenses that can be associated with a physician's file. In the Examiners tab, you have the option to nominate all the different physicians and or technicians who will perform examinations with the iCubed by clicking the New button. Also, make sure that the main user of the iCubed is set as the default examiner. This will save time when creating new patient sessions. Go to the Scans sub-tab to set the default settings for the biometry mode. First, make sure the appropriate K reading type is selected. Will the user enter their keratometry readings in millimetres or in diopters? Then select Normal for the tolerance, as opposed to the Expert mode. The system will not only look for the corneal, anterior lens, posterior lens and retinal echoes when the tolerance is set to Normal, 
but it will also look for the scleral echo, as well as analyse the quality of the retinal echo before saving a scan. It is especially critical to select normal when working in auto acquisition mode to guarantee consistency and accuracy in the axial length measurements. Next, depending on whether the user will perform contact or immersion biometry, select either contact 1 or immersion 1 in the biometry A exam technique. Contact 2 or immersion 2 can be used in the presence of shorter eyes but should not be set as default settings. And last, tick Auto Acquisition Mode, which will enable the system to automatically save the scans in biometry mode in the presence of what will be analysed as good measurements. Alternatively, you may leave this box unticked if the user's preference is to manually save scans. In the Report sub-tab, the name of the clinic or hospital is usually entered in the Report Title tab, and the address of the clinic or hospital usually stands as the report subtitle. You also have the option to select the default template for your B-mode reports. Please note that the more images per page, the smaller they will be, and consequently, the harder it will be to visualise the finest details on the printed images. The two images per page template is usually the preferred format. Next, make sure that in the calculation settings section, both the multiple scan average and enable multiple scan average options are selected. This will ensure that the average of all axial length measurements is used to calculate the IOL power in biometry mode. Now go to the Archive Export sub-tab and select the default format and resolution for all exported files. Regarding images, the TIFF image file format retains the best image quality when exporting pictures. With regards to movie files, we recommend selecting the WMV movie file format, as it is highly compatible with PowerPoint. As a last step, add a new printer via the Connectivity sub-tab. This process is the same as that of Windows XP. Select the default printer to be used when printing reports, as well as the default Easy Print printer for images to be printed from the keyboard shortcut. For daily clinical use, particularly in larger institutions with multiple users, Alex recommends creating one or more limited accounts without access to administrator functions. To create a new user account, click the General sub-tab in the Utilities section, which is the first option on the left-hand side of the screen. Select Manage User Accounts and then Create a New Account. In general, the name of the user will be entered in the Name of the New Account field. Once you have entered the name for the new account, click Next. Ensure Limited is selected and click Create Account. Your new user account has now been created. You may wish to enter a password for this new account by selecting Change an Account, picking the account to change and selecting Create a Password. You may then click the white cross on the top right section of the screen to return to the user session interface. Enter the iCubed application again, but this time using the newly created user account. You are ready to start examining a patient. Congratulations! You have successfully configured the iCubed. For further information, please refer to the iCubed instruction manual available under the Help tab on the iCubed system. Or visit the LX website at www.lx.com.